<laughs> hey guys and welcome back on my youtube channel it's your boy troll in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can obtain i mean not free rubies but basically how you can farm rubies in the game crystals okay crystals so basically as you all know we have something that's named exchange center 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 oh my god so we have an exchange center right now as you can see uh we can buy those 10,000 rahils whatever marks for 150 however you can also sell them for another 60 as you can see i can sell three because i have thirty thousand. i can sell those for 180 crystals now you're gonna tell me okay but how do you get those it's very simple basically in this game whatever you're gonna have in your backpacks you can sell now when it comes to the equipment it's a little bit different because when it comes to the equipment, you're going to have to have equipment that you drop in the specific dungeons and they cannot be registered. But we're not going to focus on the gear. What are we going to focus today on is the materials and especially the craft materials. As you know, in this game, your professions will be very important. Uh, basically, to get to master, you're going to need a lot of resources and even just simply to level up all of your professions you're gonna need a lot of those resources when it comes to i don't know minerals herbs or whatever so obviously some of those items uh you won't need so you can sell them some of them you're gonna need so you're gonna try to basically buy them here because it's either faster than uh, going into the world map and collecting them one by one and crafting etc etc for example if i'm not mistaken creating those items in the profession also costs some gold right like if we go here you're gonna see that it will cost you some gold so creating items i mean yes you can farm those pure minerals that you can then uh, turn into i don't know ignots gold whatever whatever but let's say you don't really care about the professions right now or you basically you are in a very big need of those rubies what you can do is basically hunt uh you can hunt for those items so for example every day you can basically come heal into the material the craft and you can go one by one check the price of the materials that are available and uh, basically try to buy something that is cheaper than usual basically when the game started obviously the materials were rare so the prices were way higher than they are right now so it's really good to see sometimes and just you're gonna come here check the prices now obviously to do it efficiently you need to know the average price of all the items you need to know what is valuable or not uh, most of the cases the items that are going to be the most expensive are those that you actually going to need to level up your professions so as you can see you can go from a simple 500 for fishes to 16k for magic core so obviously the price are uh, dependent on the demand now buy not i mean yeah so you know it's it's not black magic you can come here buy something resell it try to resell it for more or you can go simply into the world and collect those uh, as you know in the game you're gonna have a glove that will basically help you to gather herbs and stuff like that and you're also gonna have pickaxes that will help you to collect materials uh, not materials minerals and at the end you're also going to have a fishing road where you can buy some baits and you can also go fishing now i really don't recommend fishing fishing is the cheapest one like the fishes are not that expensive i think the best to do right now is mining mining right now the minerals for mining because the minerals for mining will also help you to basically do gems to equip into your gear but it will also help you for boosts for your runes for your uh, monsters so overall minerals are very important and all you can do is basically go around farm collect minerals i again i only advise you to farm minerals that are actually selling for a good price so when i say good price it's above 10k so anything that is below 10,000, I would really not recommend to farm. But if we check even the lowest grade of the minerals, let's see what's the price now. 
It's only 3,000. Then we go and check the greens. Where are the greens? It's also 3,000, all of them. It varies on the color. Apparently green are the, rare, or the rarest one. And then obviously you can also go farm the blue ones. Uh, for the blue ones, we are at 2,000 as well. 1,000, 2,000. So I would suggest that the best thing to farm right now is the fluorite mineral. And basically... By farming the mineral, you can then come on the shop and sell. The, the only thing you can only do is sell by 20. To, to sell something on the market, you have to have 20 of them. As you can see, I can come here and basically sell those for 33,000. Uh, let's sell it cheaper just so it so sells faster. There you go, boom. Uh, what else can I sell that I know is expensive? Those minerals, no. Sapphire. Sapphires are also very expensive. So yeah, basically all you're gonna do is just run around the map. Once you have done your dailies, your dungeons, etc. You're gonna collect whatever you can collect. Then you come here into the exchange center. You put everything on sale and you wait. And then once you have sold X amount and let's say you have 100k, 200k of those Rahil badges. You can just simply come here and exchange those and buy rubies if you need so. Now let's do it like that. So basically let's sell them for 110k. Let's sell them for 130. There you go. Boom. We're going to post it. And now basically people can come here and buy. As you can see, if we go into uh, items, you can see I have listed my badges because those badges are bought by other players. Uh, did I already sell something? Okay, as you can see, boom, Sapphire is already sold, 14k, because yes, there is a tax when you're basically selling something, I think, let's let's try this, with this, as you can see, exchange commission, 12%, so you're basically gonna lose 12% on whatever price you're putting here, so if you're buying something from the market, at, I would say, I don't know, let's say you're gonna buy something for 10k, Remember that even if you resell it for 11k, you're going to lose on it. So you always need to buy something where you know you can at least make a 50% profit. And basically by, you know, gathering, coming here, selling, gathering, coming here, selling. This is basically how you're going to get infinite amount of rubies, which you can change into raid access, into scrolls, into whatever you need. Or even into for gold. You can also obviously buy gold with your rubies. And we know that this game is very heavy on gold. So yeah, it's going to be basically a way for you to obtain rubies. Now, obviously, to obtain the minerals, well, you're going to need those pickaxes, gloves, etc. Now, the pickaxe, green pickaxe and green gloves, you can buy them in the shop. They are not very expensive. But there are also other ways to obtain them as for example here if you go to the guild merchant you're also gonna have uh, epic gloves epic uh, pickaxe legendary pickaxe food to basically uh, uh, for your fishing road so you know even in the guild shop without spending gold you can come here basically if you already bought all your scrolls the ld scroll etc obviously then you can come here and buy those pickaxes and gloves and that's basically how you can farm your crystals how you can basically acquire crystals by simply playing the game running around gathering resources and yeah opening your own shop <laughs> so yeah guys that's it from me if you have any questions let me know it's basically a quick guide to show you how to acquire crystals in the game by simply playing and for those who didn't know ah maybe i sold it there you go boom 341 crystals we are at 2k and yeah basically i'm going uh, back to farming some uh, minerals so i can get rich and have infinite amount of crystals anyway guys i will see you in the next video see you ciao Yeah. <laughs>